This video covers Solid Edge Family of Assemblies for SolidWorks users who want to use configurations. The first thing to know is don't use the configurations in Solid Edge. Solid Edge configurations are for display only and are more akin to SolidWorks display states. There is a previous video that talks about Solid Edge Family of Parts. Family of Parts is similar to SolidWorks part configurations, except that the Family of Parts publishes a separate part for each configuration or family member, as they are called in Solid Edge. Solid Edge Family of Assemblies keeps all of the family members within the single assembly. Family of Assemblies are in turn part of the Alternate Assemblies functionality. Also part of alternate assemblies is the alternate position. So alternate position and family of assemblies are both part of alternate assemblies. Family of assemblies allows you to create assemblies with some variation, difference in parts, difference in patterns and how parts are mated together. Alternate position assemblies are generally used just for creating assemblies with parts in different positions using assembly relationships. Alternate position assemblies do not have any differences in terms of the bill of materials. Let's see a little bit of how this works. Here's an assembly that has no alternate assemblies set up at this time. So to access the alternate assemblies we use the drop down and select the family of assemblies entry. The interface of Solid Edge uses family of assemblies and alternate assemblies somewhat interchangeably, so this can get confusing. Once you have the family of assemblies panel available, you can create new family of assemblies by clicking on the new button. This will give you a choice of what kind of alternate assemblies document you want to create. You can go down either path, but once you've made a selection, you can't change your mind. Alternate position is intended to show the same product at different stages of motion. For example, a cabinet with the door open or closed. Family of assembly is meant to represent similar but different products and may even have unique part numbers. For example, a two-foot cabinet and a three-foot cabinet. The alternate position bill of materials will not change. The family of assembly bill of materials will or may change per member. Conceptually, alternate position is much simpler and the user will avoid the added complexity that family of assemblies requires. So you make your choice between create a family of assemblies and create an alternate position assembly and you name the current member. I usually name the current member default. You can name the new member whatever you want to. We'll call this one new member. Once you've added this to the assembly, you can't take it out and you can't change modes. Once you've created it, all of the family members are listed here in this drop-down. You can create additional family members using the new button or by working in a table. Generally speaking, working in a table is easier because you can see all of the changes for all of the various family members right in front of you. I've made this an alternate position assembly and I want to use a relationship to drive that alternate position. The relationship is connected to this part and it's shown down below as a zero distance offset from a planar line. I want to put that variable in the variable list. In order to get that, I'll go to the Tools tab, the Variables table, and as you mouse over each variable, it shows it in the graphics window. So I can select it here. If you don't have it named, you can still find it visually. And then use this button to add the variable to the list. We will go to each family member and update this number. Doing things one by one like that can get tedious. So in this case, we're going to go to the Family of Assemblies table. I'm going to add new configurations or new family members. And we'll call this one Position 
one, position two, and position three. Now I can change these numbers easily. Negative 25, negative 50, and negative 75. From here, we can go back and check each one of the family members. Position one, position two, and position three. Now we've changed assemblies, and in this one, we've created a family of assemblies. And with this option, remember, we can swap out parts and other variables. So what I'm going to focus on here is occurrence overrides. This will swap out some individual parts. What you do for this is you select the family member that you want to change. You can right click on the part under more, go to replace part, make sure you've got the right part selected. And because the part that I selected was a family of parts member, I'll use the drop down to select which family of parts I want to use. You could also browse to find another part that's not related to the family of parts. Switch to variation two and right click more, replace part, accept that occurrence and select a family member. This only works this way because these parts were set up beforehand with family of parts functionality. And now you can switch between the various family members to go to default, variation one, variation two, and variation three. To create a drawing from an alternate assemblies document, just do it in the normal way. Use the drop down for the new and select drawing of active model. Select your template. Because this is an alternate position assembly, Solid Edge recognizes that and gives us the choice of what family member to use as a primary view and what to use as an alternate view. And now you can see Solid Edge is ready to create this view with a different font for the alternate position. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to change the view scale. Thanks for watching.